Hey everyone, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Omni Mode as well as Omni Preview, which are two different things, but since they have similar naming, we'll cover them in this video. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so before getting into this video, uh, again, I'm using the M Audio Oxygen Pro. MIDI keyboard. It's been a great MIDI keyboard. If you would like to learn more about it, I have a link in the description of a pretty in-depth review. So again, there is Omni Mode and there is Omni Preview. Omni Mode, if we right click, it is only available in Link to Controller. If you were to go over our Global Link, you'll see that this is a Global Link settings. This is how we set up Global Links and Omni Mode is not here. When we go right click and we go Link to Controller, this is a remote control settings window and there's more features such as being able to access like internal controllers and Omni Mode, okay? Now, if we hit F10, or you can just go to your options up here in F10. There is two options we will be looking at. So one is Omni Preview. Again, this is different than Omni Mode, even though they have similar naming. And we'll cover Omni Preview at the very end of this video. It just allows you to, to uh, trigger different uh, sounds in the channel rack off of your keyboards. Um, and I'll explain that after. And then the next one is the pickup takeover mode, okay? First of all, let's just look up in the top left here. So here you can see if I hover over this, it says tweaked parameter won't change until the controller matches the current controls value. So if you set up Omni mode and you are moving your knob or moving a slider and it's always jumping in, in value, that's where you can enable this. Um, but if you are looking for hands-on mixing, I would suggest looking into what's called global links. This is a much better way to get hands on mixing, but I'll share how Omni mode can be useful to you if you want to do Omni mode, okay? So I'm gonna first start in the mixer. You're just gonna right click. You're gonna go link to controller, because again, Omni mode is only available in link to controller. We're just gonna go Omni mode and I'll just use this slider right here, okay? So as you can see, it's going up and down. And if I go to the next mixer insert, you can see it's going up and down, all right? now. I'm going to hit F10 and you can see that the pickup takeover mode is off. I will turn that on in a second, but let me just give you an example. So if we're using this slider and if we put it all the way full, and then if we come here to the reverb one, you can see the volumes all the way at the very bottom. If I bring this slider down just a little bit, you're going to see reverb one jumps up like all the way to the top. And that's really annoying if you want to start mixing your music. So let's do that exact same example, but this time I will enable the pickup takeover mode. And so what I'll do is I'm going to bring the reverb all the way down, okay, or pretty much all the way to the bottom. And what we're going to do is you're going to see when I move this slider, the reverb is not going to be triggered because the value has to be reached on the slider before it's going to be reached. You can see I can go up and down, it's not working, but reverb is highlighted, okay? You can also see it's orange up here as well because it is in Omni mode as a project link, and I'm going to bring it all the way to the bottom. Now you can see it gets triggered, okay? So watch, I'll bring this one all the way to the bottom. We will come here to the master, and if I move the slider, it's, um, oh, sorry, I have to use this the same one. I'm used to global links where we can set up our different sliders and stuff. So I'm using, so Omni mode uses the same slider to move a parameter up and down, okay? You actually have to reach the full value if pickup is on. Um, and so um, how this could be useful is like, let's say you wanna mix your music, you can just go through your different parameters and you can adjust them. Okay, and then uh, again, you have to reach the value in order for it to kick in. But it, it is a pretty good little workaround if you just wanna kinda quickly adjust your, your volume faders, you just kinda gotta get used to that. But again, that is a downfall of um, not motorized faders, right? You know, because they're not motorized, they don't auto adjust. Okay, so let me give you another example here. So here I'm just gonna right click this uh, volume knob on this uh, kick drum. We're gonna go link to controller. I will go Omni mode. And now notice that remove conflicts is not enabled. So in other words, if I move this uh, slider, you can see that we can move this volume knob and um, the mixer insert at the same time. But, so let's just go right click go link to controller and I will go remove conflicts. And what that's gonna do is just allow this one slider to control the volume knob of these different channels when they're highlighted, okay? So you can see right now I am adjusting the volume of this kick drum and I'm gonna bring it down to the next one and you're gonna see that now we can adjust this volume. Again, because we have the uh, pickup takeover enabled, now I've disabled it, but now no matter where it is, it's just gonna automatically jump. So typically you probably don't want that you know, you, you might want it to be kind of like that soft takeover. So for example, let's say we bring this knob all the way down to the bottom. 
we come here and then now if we're going to move it up just a little bit watch it's going to bring it all the way to the bottom all right so again if you want to avoid that and you want it to actually have to reach the value before it switches uh, so for example if we put this to the max now and if i come here to the bottom one again we have to actually reach that value you can see anything in between here it is not work this knob is not working if i hit the bottom now it works okay so again that is omni mode that's how you set that up but if you are looking for hands-on mixing what you're looking for is what's called global links and if we right click you can see we have the option for link to controller as well as global links so global links are more powerful and the reason is because each window is unique like each virtual instrument or each plugin is is like a unique environment so in other words if you're setting up knobs and sliders and again like let's say we just right click this and or i'll do it from here so we right click this we go override global link this link will only and, and again right now this slider will not work because we have mapped um the omni mode to it so watch i'm going to move let's say this slider now instead of this one so now you can see that the cutoff knob will move it's also blue and if i highlight into a different window you can see it now goes green because that environment that window is not focused okay if i come back to if i focus on it now it'll work um, whereas the project link um, you can see it is like it's still working and you know no matter what channel i go to it's going to work like this now if you come into a virtual instrument and you try to set up omni mode in your virtual instruments um, these are first of all they are only project specific so what that means is if you load up a template and then keep loading up that template then all your links will work project links this one that i just set up with you this global link this is permanent which means that it works in old projects and new projects so again if you're wanting to get the hands-on i would highly recommend you look into the global links because each window is like is is like its own environment however you have to be focused on that window to use global links okay so that is omni mode and that is essentially just setting up a knob or a slider to control the same parameter in whatever window so for example like if you went from vst to vst and you set up the same knob it may not always be controlling with the same parameter because each virtual instrument and how they've set up their knobs and stuff is always different okay um, if you checked out the previous tutorial when I was talking to you about um, the mod wheel and stuff, they've set this up to, to uh, CC number one, which is the MIDI specification. And so that particular, um, as you can see it right here, the mod wheel, that is unique in a sense that it's always CC number one. That one's pretty tried and true. But when it comes to a lot of the other parameters in these virtual instruments, these, you know, these many times are all mapped differently and there's really no standard a lot of the time. And so that's why you'd want to set up the global links because then you can get in here and it's really easy to set up. You literally just click the multi-link to controller. You can just move these again, look up here and you can see that it gets add, added to a queue. And then if you want to set up global links, you have to right click and go override global links and then you would just simply move your different knobs so i'll just go slider slider and slider and now you can see that these will all work and i have to be focused on the window so now you can see if i'm moving these sliders it's green i go back and i'm focused it is blue so i would highly recommend getting um using global links if you want hands on omni mode is very unique and it could be useful in certain situations but i shared with you you know you have to actually be highlighted on the channel and it controls the same parameter within those channels now let's just quickly cover the omni preview uh, again we're going to do it really really quick because i don't want to take all your time and so here is omni preview okay you can set it to a channel so right now if you do not set a channel what happens is if you are highlighted on something it'll play that virtual instrument i have to go to the next virtual instrument and you can see uh, it is highlighted with green now if i come to the kick drum go down but now if we want to be able to to trigger these as unique sounds off of our midi keyboard that is where the omni mode pre or omni preview comes in omni mode was the sliders omni preview we just put it to one okay and so how this works is, is i will quickly just load up uh, the document or the, the manual for you and so this is the omni preview channel so what it does is um it starts from c5 and um again you guys can just read this in the manual okay but i'll share with you how it works so right now again i put it to channel one i will come from here so here's c5 uh again the white notes here's flex here is the first kick drum here is the snare and then i might have another kick and another kick okay so if you wanted to record this you would just go record um hit play 
and uh, the drum starts right here and snare. So I'll just go, okay? So, right, stop. And then you can get in there and you can start editing your stuff. Um, but for me personally, I do not like to have um, the Omni Preview on because when I go into my virtual instrument, you're gonna see it triggers all those notes, okay? So I usually like to just have this off. I would play my keys. And then uh, I personally like to just click in my drum samples and uh, that usually gives like the most flexibility because if you click your stuff in, then you can come here and you can quickly adjust like your velocities um, right from the channel rack or you can also go to the piano roll and you can adjust all your stuff like that too. All right, so if you guys wanna learn more about making your own drum loops, you guys should check out my Safe Spots book. It's, it's a very in-depth book and there's a course and it's all about creating drum loops. But this video was first of all setting up Omni mode and we do that by right clicking, going link to, link to controller and there's Omni. Again, in the, in the remote control settings, this is what all these are. Like they're Omni uh, for like the mod wheel and stuff. So if we load up Nexus, uh, you can see my mod wheel, you can see it's moving down there, okay? And again, that is because the mod wheel is, um, in the MIDI spec, it is CC1. All right, and then again, Omni mode, uh, how it works is whatever you're focused on, that slider will work for whatever parameter you've set up. Uh, again, I would I'd probably recommend uh, making sure that remove conflicts is enabled so that only one knob is doing one thing, but if you disable it, then you can have that one knob controlling tons of different things. And then I quickly talked to you about the Omni preview where you can set it up to channel one, and then uh, each white note starting from C5 will trigger a sound, but I usually like to approach FL Studio where in order to trigger a sound, I like it to be actually focused. And then as a really pro tip for you guys, like see a lot of people when they use their drums, many times they'll just use it like here. Oops, up here, right? They'll just use a drum as a normal drum, but as a music producer, you have to kind of think creatively and you can actually use a drum up high as a really cool sound effect, right? Like, and then. Right? So again, it's all about being creative and doing, you know, what you want as a music producer, but it's also about knowing these tricks. And I feel that um, if you are going to use Omni Preview, it restricts you from kind of using your keyboard fully. Uh, but if you want to set it up to just do your drum loop off of it, then you could set this up quickly, um, record it. Once you're done recording, then I would recommend going back. All right, so that's it. If you guys would like to learn FL Studio, you guys can visit itsgratuitous.com forward slash beginner. There's my FL Studio Beginners book, my FL Studio Beginners course, or just visit me over at itsgratuitous.com and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.